A pleasant hello to all of you. This is Evan Thompson, writer for Last Word on Baseball. I cover the Arizona Diamondbacks, and I'm also the senior editor. Thank you for joining me as I take you on my journey with my Diamond Dynasty team from MLB The Show 20 through Conquest Mode. This is the third inning map. This is the second out of 11 games I played against the Astros. So, here are the starting lineups. The... Uh, Expos, my team, uh, has its usual lineup of Mondesi at short, Marte in center, Helton at first, Sandberg at second, Matthews at third, Kaline in right, Gonzalez in left, Thompson behind the plate, and Greg Maddox on the mound for this game. The Astros have Altuve at second, George Springer in center, Jordan Alvarez in left, Alex Bregman at third, Carlos Correa at short, Michael Brantley in right, Yuli Gurriel at first, Martin Maldonado behind the plate, and Jose Urquidy on the mound. The second year player out of Mexico. I don't recall the difficulty level for this game, but I just know it's going to be fun either way. So once again, thanks for joining me as we dive in to Conquest Mode of Diamond Dynasty. Honestly, with Diamond Dynasty, Conquest Mode has got to be my favorite uh, game mode. Um, either that or, yeah, I like it more than the moments. Conquest mode is just so fun because the games are only three innings long and you can get in a lot of gameplay there. You also get in some strategy um, as far as which hexagons to attack, when to stand pat and go ahead and uh, go to the next um, <clears throat> section and get reinforcements and whatnot. I love the whole pressure of stealing fans where if you win, you get to take fans from that team. If you don't, then it doesn't really hurt you. But anyway, let's get to the ball game. Adalberto Mondesi leads off against Urquidy, and as you can see, I had it raining, but forgot to close the roof in the pregame settings, so we're playing in Minute Maid Park with the roof open and rain. So, one and one the count now to Mondesi after the first pitch is a ball and the second pitch is a strike. Swing and a miss on a changeup. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Inside with a slider. Two and two now the count. From Urquidy to Alberto Mondesi. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball three. Three and two the count now. Here is the three two and it is swung and missed for a strike. Mondesi goes down swinging for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Cattell Marte. Here's the pitch. High and tight ball or for uh, it, it did cross the plate in the zone. 0 and 1 the count now. Here's the pitch. Swung on and belted deep to right center, way back. Springer goes back to the wall and it's off the top of the wall and into the bullpen for a home run. Home run by Cattell Marte to give the Expos a one nothing lead. That'll bring up Todd Helton. He belts one up the middle, diving play by Correa, throws from his knees in time to get him at first. What a play by Carlos Correa. Two gone, that brings up Ryan Sandberg, the Hall of Fame second baseman. And here is the first pitch to Sandberg. Fouled off the fist. 0-1 the count now to Sandberg. And here's the windup and the delivery. Outside for ball one. One ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1. Inside and low for ball two. 2-1 two and one the count now. From Jose Urquidy to Ryan Sandberg. Here's the pitch. Ball three, just low. 3-1 the count now with Eddie Matthews on deck. Here's the pitch. Outside for ball four. For San so Sandberg draws a two-out walk to get on first with two gone and bring up Eddie Matthews. Here's the pitch. Inside for a ball. One ball, no strikes. Rikidi goes into the stretch. There goes the runner. The pitch is low. The throw to second is not in time. And Sandberg steals second. 2-0 the count now to Eddie Matthews with a runner now in scoring position and two outs. Here's the pitch. Times a curveball well or a changeup well, but hits it directly to Altuve who fields it cleanly and throws to first in time to retire the side. But the Expos push one across to lead one to nothing with the Astros coming up for the first time right now. Here is Jose Altuve to face Greg Maddox. The pitch is swung on and just foul outside first. Looks like he hit a cutter off the end of the bat. 0-1 the count now to Altuve. Here's the pitch. Bounced foul outside first once again. 
No balls. Two strikes. The pitch. High fly ball into left. That's going to be caught by Gonzalez, who settles underneath and does make the catch for the first out. That'll bring up George Springer, the center fielder and 2017 World Series MVP. Here's the pitch. High fly ball into deep right. K-Line got a late break on it. That's way back and bounces over the fence for a ground rule double. So runner on second now with one gone and Jordan Alvarez at the plate. He takes the first pitch inside for ball one. The next pitch is swung on and missed to even the count at 1-1. One, one. That circle change is filthy. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on another one. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Outside. Couldn't get him to chase another circle change. Two and two the count now. Here's the pitch. A cutter that missed his spot big time, but Alvarez fouled it off. Still 2-2. Here's the pitch. Bouncing ball directly to short. Mondesi has to charge in to make the play. Throws to first in time for the second out. That brings up Alex Bregman now with Altuve on second. The pitch is in there. Strike called. 1-0 the count. Fouled off again. One or No balls. Two strikes. Here's the pitch. He struck him out. Oh, that was uh, Springer on second, by the way. And that strikeout retires the side. No runs, one hit, one man left. We go to the top of the second with the Expos leading one to nothing. Dennis Eckersley gets up and, or not Eckersley, let's see. Who's getting up and throwing? We are going with Eckersley. Eckersley's going to get up and throwing in the bullpen now. As Al Kaline leads off the top of the second against Urquidy. Here's the first pitch, and he bounces it into the hole, but Correa comes over to his right a few steps and gloves it. Throws the first in time for an easy out. One gone. Now that brings up Luis Gonzalez, the left fielder. Here's the pitch. Off the fist, high fly ball into center, directly to George Springer, who makes an easy catch for the second out. That brings up the catcher, Thompson. Here's the first pitch. Strike called over the outer part of the plate with a fastball. No balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Hit off the end of the bat, but he was too late and foul into the seats outside left field. No balls, two strikes. Low two is low for ball one. One and two the count now to Thompson with the pitcher spot on deck. Here's the pitch. Hit high into the air in center field. Springer takes a couple steps to his left and settles underneath to make an easy catch and retire the side. One, two, three, go the Expos in the top of the second. We go to the bottom of the second where the Expos lead one to nothing. Dennis Eckersley comes into the game and he will face um, the five, six, and seven hitters. That would be Correa, Brantley, and Guriel. Here's the first pitch to Correa. Low for a ball. One ball, no strikes to Carlos Correa. Here's the pitch. Strike called on a sinker at about thigh high and over the inner part of the plate. One and one now. Here we go. The pitch is inside for ball two. Two and one. From Dennis Eckersley to George Springer. Here's the pitch. Not George Springer, Carlos Correa, rather. And that sinker is fouled off outside first. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. He struck him out swinging on a sinker. One gone for Michael Brantley, the right fielder. Here is the first pitch to Brantley. He checked his swing, but it was a strike anyway. Sinker over the plate. One strike and nothing, as Harry Carey would say. Here's the pitch. Inside with a slider. One and one the count now. The pitch. Outside, ball two. Two and one now to Brantley. Here's the pitch from Eckersley. Backdoor slider clips the corner. Good pitch by Eckersley there. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Fouled outside first to stay alive. Still 2-2 with one gone in the bottom of the second. Here's the pitch to Brantley. Swung on and grounded into right field past a diving Sandberg for a base hit. That puts a runner on first with one gone for Yuli Gurriel. Here's the pitch. 
Back up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. So two aboard now in the bottom of the second. The tying run on second and the go-ahead run on first. Manager's going to come to the mound to settle Eckersley down a bit, or the pitching coach, rather. Uh, Ken Giles will get up and throw in the Expos bullpen. Here's the pitch to Martin Maldonado. Swing and a miss on a slider. Strike one. 0 and one the count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard into right field for a base hit. And um, who's that runner on second? That would have been uh, uh, Brantley. Brantley holds up at third. So that loads the bases. Eckersley has been completely ineffective in this outing. So in comes Ken Giles to try and uh, get the double play ball and get out of the inning. Here's the first pitch to pinch hitter Josh Reddick. Fastball belt high and in over the inner part of the plate is taken for a strike. 0-1 the count. Here's the pitch. Strike two over the outside corner with a backdoor slider. No balls, two strikes. The pitch. <clears throat> slider misses low to make the count one and two. Here's the pitch to Reddick. Double play ball to short. Out at second for one and out at first. A double play to retire the side. No runs off three hits and two men left on base. We go into the top of the third. The Expos still lead one to nothing. Excuse me. With the pitcher spot leading off, that brings in David Peralta as a pinch hitter. As Raleigh Fingers gets up and throwing in the Expos bullpen. Peralta will face the new pitcher, Brian Abreu, a right-hander. Here's the first pitch from Abreu. Low for a ball. 1-0 the count now to David Peralta, whose card being used here is the face of the franchise card for the Diamondbacks. Here's the next pitch, a breaking ball that he bounces off the end of the bat into the overshift. Altuve charges in and makes the throw to first in time to retire Peralta for the first out. That brings up Adalberto Mondesi, who in real life plays shortstop for the Royals. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. One ball and no strikes to the speedy Adalberto Mondesi. Here is the 1-0. Outside for a ball. 2-0 the count now. We're in the stretch, and here's the pitch. Breaking ball, swung on and hit hard. Altuve goes to his left and knocks it down, but can't come up with it. So Mondesi is aboard with an infield single. And that's danger for the Astros, because he can run like the wind. The throw to first, and he's, he's caught in a rundown. The throw uh, to second is in time, and Mondesi gets picked off. So there goes that. Two gone, Cattel Marte at the plate. The Expos leading 1-0. Here's the pitch. Curveball is hit high into left field and caught by Alvarez to retire the side. No runs, one hit, nobody left. We go into the bottom of the third, and the Expos lead one to nothing. In comes Raleigh Fingers to close the game out. The Hall of Fame reliever with the greatest mustache in the history of mankind. Here is the first pitch to Jose Altuve. It's a slider over the near part of the plate. Strike called. 0-1, oh the count. Here's the pitch. Low for a ball. 1-1 one one now. Here's the pitch. Bounced in through the hole into left field for a base hit. The tying run is now on first in the form of the speedy Jose Altuve, although he's not as fast as some others. 73 is still pretty good speed. Here's the next pitch to Alex Bregman. Or no, George Springer, excuse me. Springer fouls it into the stands outside first for the first strike. The second pitch is a sinker over the outside part of the plate. Oh, two the count now. Swing and a miss on the third pitch. A slider that breaks out of the zone to uh, strike him out for the first out of the inning. Here's the first pitch to Jordan Alvarez, the next hitter. And it misses low for a ball. 0-1. Now 2, I mean 1-0. Now 2-0 the count as the slider doesn't break over the plate. The 2-0 is swung on and missed by Alvarez for strike one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. Two balls, two strikes, one gone, and Altuve on first. Throw to first runner back. Fingers comes into the stretch. Here's the pitch. 
Bounced back up the middle. Mondesi steps on second for one. Out at first, a double play to end the ball game and give the Expos a 1-0 victory. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Conquest Mode on MLB The Show 20. As the Expos defeat the Houston Astros 1-0. Thanks for joining us. This is Evan Thompson with Last Word on Baseball saying so long for now. As you look in a very defeated dugout on the first base side here at Minute Maid Park. Maddox gets the win, Urquidy gets the loss, and Raleigh Fingers gets the save. Thanks for joining us, everyone. See you next time. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. One run on two.